everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Be Your Neighbor Fertilizer, and we're taking another look at Chris and Denise's house. So we're going through the yard here, and if you haven't seen the video on their grain bin and the, and the elevator, check out that video. But we're going through their yard now and taking a look at, they have flowers everywhere. So Chris and Denise start the petunias in their small greenhouse, and he raises about 1,200 plus petunias. And not necessarily a color theme, they have all all different varieties and colors of the petunias and Denise likes to mix them up with the lobelia and some sort of spike or uh, juncus or something high in the middle. There are flowers everywhere that you look so it's it's a pattern that works really well. So as I go through this is a manure spreader if you don't know what that is. So an old an antique piece of equipment that they planted up with the petunias. There's some vinca uh, vine there's another vine in here and again with something tall in the middle and go through and blends in and works together and looks really really nice let's go take a look so the antique farm equipment really sets the scene for this whole yard and they've gone through and put planters here and done up with the, again, the petunias and something high in the middle like the grasses and then lobelia spilling over. But there are pieces of equipment all over this yard and it just really ties things in, especially with the grain bin and the elevator that we have in our past video. The whole yard is done up with flowers. So there's a lot of work, but it is absolutely stunning to drive into their driveway and see all this put together so nicely. So you can see how well Denise puts everything together here and it just it it just works. And this is a, a much shadier area and you know normally I wouldn't suggest putting petunias you know under the shade of a tree but they're doing great and they're they're looking good. So if there's any troubles you know my suggestion would be you know maybe trimming back some of these petunias because what they'll naturally do is they'll stretch because they're looking for that sunlight. You can see the impatience here uh, she put in because she just wasn't sure what to put in in a shaded area. So she had the impatience but I would also suggest doing wax begonias because wax begonias they're kind of that perfect bedding plant. It doesn't matter if they're in full sun or full shade. They just perform flawlessly and they, they're just very, very carefree and, and easy to grow. This is a the guts of, a, of an old washing machine. It just worked well for making up a planter and everything just comes together and looks fantastic for their yard. So one more area to, to showcase is this special little area here. And there is an old cast iron tub that's done up with more of the petunias. There's lobelia, there's some dusty miller, some rubrum grass over there, some euphorbia in the middle, which is nice because it's a, that real lacy white flower that just pokes through everything and just, this all just ties together everywhere that you look in this yard, there's a whole nother little scene to, to explore. And even with this tree, this tree Chris planted with his daughter, it was just a sapling uh, way back when. So this tree has grown with his daughter. So it was something that they wanted to leave in their yard and kind of showcase with this little area. And if you look behind me here, you can see the garden. The garden is absolutely pristine and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing out of place. You know, again, the people that have the most beautiful landscapes and yards and flowers and gardens, they put the time into it. That's, that's what you have to remember. If you want to have beautiful plants and flowers, it does take some work. So you have to put that effort in and learn. And that's why we love you watching these videos and getting the inspiration, but also learning how to properly grow your plants and flowers and care for them. Hey, if you're liking our videos, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of how-to videos there. And then you can hop on over to our BeatYourNeighbor.com website where we have the tips and the tricks and blog articles and of course our Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. And that's all over at BeatYourNeighbor.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day.